The following characters are all example of an implementation of each of the rules presented. They all belong to the will of Shandar III, or Arcadia Reborn. The first character, Darin, is an enticer. Her origins is the Nephilim. Her name, Darin, means gift, and her goal is to try all the dishes of Arcadia. Her rule is enticer, which is different from her function. She's a protagonist. From her role come two of her behavior traits. Darin is entertaining and confident. These two traits are directly linked to the enticer archetypes. Darin is also a generous and needy character. Those two behavior traits are linked to her identity and her goal. Her affinity is making her likely to develop relationships with other enthusiasts and gourmets. Her three quirks are a cloudy abdu, a gift box, and a toga. The cloudy hair and the toga are representative of the Nephilim as a geographical place. Most inhabitants of the Nephilim will wear a toga and their hair will be less dense than inhabitants of other parts of Arcadia. The second character, Yotis, is a manager. She comes from the Broken Capital, which is a central part of Arcadia. Her name means sunlight, and her goal is to learn how to federate. Not federating in itself, but just the, the procedure. Yotis is a manager. She's a character who manages the group. And her function in the story is protagonist. Her traits, empathetic and individualist, are both linked to the manager arcana. She is a temperate and lenient character. Both these traits are linked directly to her identity and her goal. Jotis is likely to develop relationships with relativists and other managers. Remark here that relativists is not a role as defined previously, but manager is. Relativists describe a tendency, a behavior type. Her quirks are her specific hairstyle. Jotis is shaved and she often wears bandages. She also wears a fluid armor, which is made of clothes with a specific level of protection and solid rings. She bears a sphere case, which is a case in the form of a sphere. The third character, Azul, is a builder. He is born in Neapolis. His name means assistant, and his goal is to retrieve and learn the holy movements, which are linked to the role of builder, other than his personal passion. He is a builder. He serves as an engineer for the, for the group, and his function is on, in the story is antagonist. His two behavior traits, learning and curious, are both directly linked to his role as a builder. The character as an individual is both very sharing, he has no trouble sharing information, but also very competitive, as he imagined competition as a fair system. So each individual should have the same level of information. He is likely to develop relationships with builders and strategists. Just as for Jotis, 
Azure is likely to develop relationships with other builders or other people in the same role as he is. But is also likely to develop relationships with people which have a common tendency to create strategies and plans. His quirks are his short messy hair and his small hat. He also often wear tunics. Azure bears a multi-tool mass, which is a mass containing all his essential tools. Contrary to Darin and Jotis, the clothes of Azure are not systematic of Neapolis. The fourth character, Risk, is a protector. He originates in the Tribum Vaga Officii, which is the office of the nomadic tribes. His name means Rush, and his goal is to bulk up. The goal may look a lot more straightforward and simplistic than the goals of the three other characters, and it also looks to be incomplete, or maybe the character tries to hide his real goal. Risk is a protector, and therefore is assertive and relentless. His function is to be a protagonist. Risk is protective and reckless. Both of these traits are complementary of each other, and they are both linked directly to his goal. His, an, his affinity is inclined toward strong people. The character doesn't in a first phase, define what strong means. Should the characters be mentally strong, physically strong, a combination of both? Does strong mean something else? The definition of this word participates directly to the evolution of the character. He's got medium curly red hair and wears fur and leather at clothes. He's Accessory is uh, my bow, as he defined it as my bow. The fur and leather clothes, or rough material clothes, are really characteristic of the nomadic tribes. The fifth character, Ezer, is a supplier. She is born in the Blue Gardens. Her name means help. And her goal is to become an exemplar. Ezer is the only character who wishes to change of role, as an exemplar is a different role from a supplier. An exemplar is much closer to a leader, so you can imagine that Ezer isn't satisfied by her condition of supplier. She is an antagonist. Her dedicated and participative traits originate directly from her supplier archetype. The character, as an individual, has developed providing and predictable traits, which are directly linked to her goal to become an exemplar. She is supposedly attracted to righteous people, just as for risk. Ritus is not defined clearly by Eza in the early stages of the story, and the definition of Ritus will participate to the evolution of Eza as a character. She has short, asymmetric, wavy hair. She wears various sorts of clothes, robes, dresses, jackets, studs, and various kinds of jewels. What she always wears on her is a red stone pendant, which is a memento. The last character, Dai Hyun, is an advisor. He is born in the Indigo Feather, which is a part of the Five Feather territory in the Higher Arcadia. His name Daimao Dai Hyun means great evil, great honor, and directly translate is main goal. 
His goal is to create a map of emotions in order to hierarchize emotion by degree of pertinence. As an advisor, he is pondering and self-aware. And as an antagonist, he will be defined by his empathy and his degree of attachment. Note that empathy and attachment here are directly linked and are dependent on his goal to map emotions. He is likely to create relationships with thinkers and dignitaries. None of these two groups of people are advisors per se, but you can find relationship directly between his behavioral trait and the supposed behavioral trait thinkers or dignitaries should have. For example, a thinker should be pondering and should have a certain degree of self-awareness, whereas a dignitary or leader or manager or exemplar should have a certain degree of empathy and or attachment. This character is quite versatile and can link itself with many other kind of characters. He has long straight indigo hair and wears the king coal, which is a kind of kimono, and the pakua. His main accessories are a brush and a fan.